Hello guys, Tells86 here with a weekly review. Today we're going to be reviewing Super Mario Galaxy 2 that came out on May 24, 2010 from Nintendo. So let's go ahead and start the game and uh, talk a little bit about it. Now, one of the things you'll notice right as soon as you start up Super Mario Galaxy 2 is you only have three uh, save files. Unlike in the first Galaxy, you had about six or seven of them. But that's okay. I mean, you're going to be busy playing this game because it's one of those games that will keep you busy for a long time. Now, this is your overworld, of course, where you start off in the game. You can actually walk around on it and interact with the other characters as well as roll for a chance to get one-ups and star bits. Like so. And of course in this game is the one inclusion that everybody wanted. Yoshi! Yoshi has a lot of abilities in this game, more than I think I've ever seen Yoshi ever have in an Nintendo game. But I'm really glad that they went ahead and brought Yoshi and Mario back together again, because in my opinion, they are like inseparable. They're a team and they need to stay as a team. Now basically, you have a lot of abilities that Yoshi can do, as well as his abilities that he already knows course flutter jumping you just press on the A and hold it he can flutter jump in the air now to activate uh, go into the actual world map and the uh, stars you just step on this little pedestal not pedestal but a little switch and you can go to all these different galaxies all of them have it so there's about seven in each world so you have a lot to keep you busy a whole lot to keep you busy including a uh, special world when you get a certain amount of stars you'll be actually able to unlock that and as well as being able to go to play on different ones I'll actually show you all one of my favorite ones and this is a rolling rolling coaster galaxy really awesome really awesome galaxy basically your objective is to go down rainbow road on this little ball that has a star stuck in it and you have to make sure you don't fall off. And it even has the old classic Super Mario 64 music. Of course orchestrated, yes, but still pretty awesome though. Now the way to control this is just by using the Wii Remote. You don't use the nunchuck at all. Make sure you stay away from those bobbums because they will blow up and they will knock you right off the stage. As you can see, I'm being just greedy right now. I'm trying to get all these coins. Mario is greedy, after all, sometimes for wanting all those coins. Eh, I couldn't get them all. That's okay. Now, but basically, you just hold the Wii Remote and moving it left and right to be able to control Mario. You don't use the nunchuck at all. So it's really simple but it's difficult to master. <clears throat> of course, star bits return. And I almost fell off there. And then basically, that's it after that right there. Then we have our star. Now you have 120 stars that you can go for as well as the green stars so I believe that there's about 240 stars in this whole entire game. So there's even more than the previous game. And there's supposed to be an extra thing at the very end when you unlock everything. I do not know what that is yet. If I do find out though I might go ahead and mention it maybe one time in a video sometime soon. But basically uh, you also get a timer added onto it, so if you finish the stage in a certain time, it'll be recorded onto your Wii and everything, so kind of cool. Basically, you have all your other techniques that Mario's learned a long time ago, somersaults, backward somersault, wall jumps. Everything you know about Mario has returned, basically, except for a couple things. Thankfully, you don't have... Uh, punching or anything like that. 
I thought it was a cool idea when they came out with it in 64, but I don't know why. I just don't think I don't know if it goes real good to me. Anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and show off one of my other favorite galaxies. Got to remember where it is, though. Actually, it's this one right here, which is Yoshi Star Galaxy. The very first galaxy that you start off with in the game, and where you get Yoshi. Now, you have a lot of power ups in this game Cloud Mario and Rock Mario. Rock Mario makes it so you can get across uh, certain enemies. Cloud Mario makes it so you can get higher in the air. Make it so you can get across, like, huge areas that you couldn't get across from before. And then even Yoshi has a lot of techniques as well. As well as being able to uh, dash across water. Being able to turn into a blimp. And then being able to turn into a big old light bulb to get across uh, secret paths that you couldn't do as well before. Now the way to get Yoshi out of his egg is just to either spin into him or you can just go ahead and just hit right on top of his egg and he'll just pop right out. You can do flutter jumps just by pressing on the A button and holding it. You can use his tongue by pressing on B when you're close to an enemy. All you do is just press B. He'll eat them. He'll even eat rocks. And Yoshi tries to run away, and he's not going to run away. Now, if you eat a certain amount of fruits, uh, Yoshi will actually get full, and he'll go ahead and you'll get a one-up from that. So, try to find as many fruits and as many uh, things to eat as you can. Because the more you eat, the more star bits you also get, too. But there's not really much else I can say about Super Mario Galaxy 2 that hasn't already been said. I mean, it's one of those games that is revolutionary for the Wii. And I think it really brings out one of the portions of the Wii's true potential. Because it's just one of those titles that you'll want to go back to time and time again after even beating it as many times as you have. I remember I still have Galaxy, the very first Galaxy game. And even though I've beaten it, tons of times almost perfectly I still go back to it because it's just one of those games that's just awesome that's the same way I feel about this one and I'm hoping that you guys all enjoyed my review of it because it's getting a perfect 10 out of 10 being one of the greatest Mario titles that I played in a very long time be sure to check out some of my other reviews on my channel if you want. I'll be posting an annotation on this video as I do with all my other videos. So again, guys, this title gets a 10 out of 10. This is Weekly Review, signing out. See you later.